and thank you for coming to Adept's video channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about bed calibration. Um, bed calibration is a very important aspect of your 3D printer so that you get good adhesion um, and uh, not too squished of a first layer. Sometimes uh, problems and uh, filaments require that you, you know, get a lot of squish on that first layer to get adhesion, but hopefully not. Hopefully you can do that um, with the uh, nozzle at the proper distance from the bed. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bring you through the steps of how to calibrate your bed um, on the bolt. It's a relatively straightforward um, procedure, but I think there's some nuances there that are worth mentioning. The first thing you want to do when calibrating your bed, which I think sometimes is overlooked, is you want to clean your nozzles. Um, throughout the printing process, the nozzles often you know, get extra residual plastic stuck to them. And if that plastic gets in the way of the bed calibration, well, you get a bad calibration. So it's very important that before you calibrate the bed is to uh, inspect your nozzles and make sure that they're clean. And if they're not, clean them off. So, on the bolt, the first thing you want to do is you're going to go into your settings, select maintenance, and then the head maintenance position. You confirm that. That's going to bring the heads forward so that you can get a good look at them. And if they need to be cleaned off, you have uh, good access to them. What we like to use at Adept to, to help us uh, do that is this brass brush. The brass brush um, is a real handy item, okay, that uh, helps you knock off plastic from there, you know, scrub it a little bit if you have to, um, to clean up those nozzles, all right? Um, we picked up this uh, brush, I believe, at, at Walmart, came in a nice little kit of a brass stainless and a plastic brush. Um, we prefer to use the uh, brass brush. Um, you could use the plastic. Uh, the stainless steel, I do not recommend. Um, the stainless steel brush is going to be a little sharper, a little harder. Uh, than the nozzles and you could damage your nozzles if you really go to town on it with the stainless steel brush like you have to sometimes to get some of that plastic off. The plastic brush uh, works well uh, but if you have to heat up your nozzles, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute, um, depending on what that plastic is made of, um, it could melt the brush. So the brass brush is uh, really, it's a damn hard word to say, brass brush <laughs> is the best item for it. So what you do is you go in there and you kind of brush its teeth here, getting a hold of any plastic on there. Of course, there's absolutely no plastic on these nozzles because this is like the 14th take of this video, and so they're almost polished at this point. So you, you get any of the plastic off there, you get a good inspection. Most important part is the very oops, <laughs> tip of the nozzle um, to make sure that there's no plastic there. Okay. But like I said, if there's still some plastic on it, you just can't get it off with the brush or you know, maybe even a, a little screwdriver or, or something. Uh, the next step would be to purge the nozzles. When you purge the nozzles, of course the nozzles are heated up and they extrude a little bit of plastic, but then the nozzle's hot. Immediately after the purge, go back into your menu um, and bring the nozzle back out into the maintenance location and then you'll be able to get that plastic off with the brush very nicely. Um, and then you end up with a nice clean nozzle. So then it comes to actually calibrating the bed. Um, what we like to use here is a feeler gauge. Uh, feeler gauges, they're available at any auto parts store and I'm sure you can um, Google it and buy them online practically in a hundred places. Um, so the feeler gauge, which is a nice little pack of shims, uh, so you can uh, calibrate your extruder to whatever level you want. But what we do it here at a depth, we found that four thousandths of an inch or 0.102 millimeters really work best uh, for us. So once you uh, get the heads all clear, you want to go into uh, calibrate bed. Okay, and then you go in to calibrate your, your nozzles. Once you go into the bed calibration mode, you select your four positions. And really what you want to do is you want to come in with this shim. Okay, you can see it's quite loose here, going underneath the extruder. If we reach below, we turn the thumb screws. Alright, I'm getting a little bit of drag there. Pretty nice. I like it a little more. Okay, that, that's about the good feeling. What you don't want to happen is that if you 
put it on there and let's put a little too much drag, okay? It's a little too tight, but listen. Hear that noise? Do it again. Okay? You can see that it's li actually lifting the extruder. You don't want that. You really want it when you pull it out, it's nice and quiet, slides in there with some drag. There you go. Now that, that's a perfect set. Most important fact is that you do all four points the exact same way. Okay, you certainly don't want to have that issue where the extruder is falling and hitting the bed. Okay, um, so if you do them all four, you have a nice level bed and you're ready to play. Alright, okay, so that about does it. So there you have it. All the, the nozzles have been calibrated in all four locations. You close that up, okay, and you're ready to print. You do all that and you'll have a much more successful printing day. Well, thanks for coming and have a good day.